What's up everybody? Sorry my room is kind of messy. talk to you guys in a while I've been very busy but I just wanted to hop on here and give a quick life update and say hello and show my face because I haven't made a video in like a month since I was driving back from work um, so greatest update back in December I got a new job I don't know if I even talked about this yet but um, working as a digital content creator up in Vancouver so I'm shooting and editing video advertisements for this company called Crafts Group that sells knitting, crocheting, sewing, and quilting supplies. And we also sell creative success, which is kind of where my job comes in, where I'm working to inspire people with video to make beautiful things. And it's awesome. I, I love all the people there. I love the work environment. It's it's really great to go in and be able to sit down and work on videos and also, you know, collaborate with other people that are super creative and it's great. <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty much where I've been spending 90% of my time because I work a nine to five. So I only kind of have Saturdays and Sundays off and I work in kind of a, not even kind of, I work in a dark room like where most of the time we have to have the lights off for color correction because I sit with other photographers. So on the weekends, I try and get out and go snowboarding or just be outside for an entire day because I need it for my mental health. Um, yeah, things have been good. It's, it's kept me busy. After, after work every day, I go to the gym and then I get home, <laughs> I get home at like eight o'clock most days so it's very busy i leave at you know 8 30 and then i get home at eight o'clock so i get home and just eat dinner and then pass out and i wouldn't i would not have thought that i would enjoy that kind of a schedule but at this point in my life i really have been enjoying it it's really nice to stay busy and to just always be doing something that being said i Definitely took for granted being in college and having that ability to see my friends whenever I wanted and to be able to schedule time with every person that I want to see. And it just it just doesn't happen at this age. I I feel bad sometimes because I have people I want to see that I haven't seen in a long time and I'm doing my best, you know? So I always have to I have to take care of myself first and I always hope that my friends and people close to me, like they're taking care of themselves too, you know? And then when time lines up and, and everything lines up, it's, it'll be great to see them, you know? But like I said, I'm working five days a week and then one day a week I'm, you know, dedicating to myself to go and spend time outside. So I literally have like one day a week to do stuff. I mean, I still have tried to see people sometimes in the evenings. Um, it's a bit of a time crunch, but but it's good, you know, it feels really interesting to like have so much, so much time being focused into things because I mean, even when I was in college, I just had, I would say too much free time to just think about life. And I'm honestly, I'm honestly kind of glad I like don't have that anymore. Sometimes I, sometimes I want quiet time, you know, but it's, it's nice to have structure and schedule while I'm 23 years old and like trying to ground myself and still sort of figure out who I am and the things that I value and how I want to spend my time because you have to be really intentional when you don't have a lot of time. 
And I think that's great practice because I think about like people that work nine to five jobs that have children and I, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> I'm like, someday I think I, I, I want a family, <laughs> but it's, it's crazy to me that like people can have kids and I know they're giving hours of their time to their kids every day and you know, still somehow keep up with their own health and mental health and exercising and it's, it's really humbling. I think, you know, on that note, that's why I really want to feel like I've mastered myself and grounded myself completely before, you know, jumping into something like that. I don't know why I'm talking about that. I don't even have a girlfriend, so <laughs> just random thoughts. Um, yeah, things are, things are good. Like I said, you know, I'm, I'm trying to cherish those moments with people when I do get to see them. Um, it's really fruitful and I think, you know, when I retire, I am just going to spend all my time just hanging out with my friends, doing silly stuff because it brings me a lot of, it brings me a lot of joy. Um, Shane's actually coming up pretty soon. He's, he's actually, he's probably going to be here in like five minutes. We're going to go frisbee golfing. I haven't been disc golfing since I went with him like months ago in like October or something. I. Oh my gosh, it was, it was so long ago. I just, I, I never go. I have my discs in the back of my car. And, you know, that's that's another thing. It's just like one of those fun activities. And it's also, it's been, it gets dark in the winter really early. So it's like hard to do something like that after work. But also I, I just go to the gym after work because I'm like, I need to exercise and frothing isn't really exercise. But I'm excited to go do that with him because it's been a minute. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope you're trying new things. I hope you're not pushing yourself too hard and letting the expectations be too high because there's no reason. Take your time. That's one of the greatest pieces of advice I can give. And cherish cherish your friendships, you know, because they, your friends, when you get low, they always remind you who you are. You know, at least my closest friends, like when I spend time with them, they remind me who I am. And sometimes I really need to be reminded of who I am. Uh, and it's really helpful and that's a, it's a blessing for sure. Yeah, I don't really have anything else. It's just, I've just been working. I've had this like desire. You guys know I always have the desire to like make YouTube content and kind of stuck in the dilemma of like, oh, what do I make, <laughs> you know? And I think, oh, here's Shane. Yeah, buddy, come on in. <laughs> All right, Shane's here, I'm leaving. We out here with Shane Boy. Hi. Shane Boy, what do you have to say to the Game Boy? Uh, I'm the Game Boy. Yeah. I say DS. Yeah, Whoa. Unreal. Um, God, that is so annoying. You guys hear that? Honk. Which orange one? I can't wait, I'm actually missing the other orange one. This. Keith Rock. I wonder if they're getting robbed. In broad daylight. <laughs> I don't like that it's not spaced out here. Yeah. It's like every like five seconds. Okay, three seconds. Two. Three. Oh. oh. Sorry guys, I take forever. Alright, Shady Boy. Wait, did I lock the car? Okay, good, I did. Shane, where are we today? We're at the airpark. Air? Lovely little... Oh, little, no, it's 12 volt burning. Yeah. A little... A little diamond in the rough. Yes. <laughs> We're here. Uh -huh. uh, we came here once before. Did not complete the course. But today... So we are back. We're back for revenge on this course. Mm. It got too dark on us last time. There's a whole heck ton of people playing today. Yeah. We're looking to maybe make some friends.
machine. What's the status? What hole are we on? How is how is the performance? The camera's gonna die soon, so it's a little rough. Camera's gonna die soon, so tell everybody. Okay, okay, I'm getting to it. Uh, we haven't played in a while. It shows. That's okay. Um, it's very busy today as well, but it's clearing up, which is good. Yes. That's all I got for you. Look at that mushroom. Uh, where? <laughs> it's on top of the tent. Oh. That's fun. Oh, there it is. That's pretty neat. I got it. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Thanks for following along. Hope you guys staying well, staying healthy, taking care of yourselves. Right, this is Shane and I signing off. There is no way that I'm getting